Hey everyone! In this video I want to give you some tips and explain why it's important to learn the basics first before you start drawing full portraits or other subjects. The reason is because if you start drawing portraits and don't understand light, shadow or perspective it will be difficult to make it look right or fix any mistakes you made. Also, when you want to get better in drawing, you want to improve the connection between your hands and eyes. So starting with simple drawing exercises will help you with that and train your hands. The more you train your hands, the better you can control them to draw. One thing I always mention in my videos is that you always need to use light pressure when you're sketching and shading. Train your hand to sketch with light pressure because after your sketch you will start shading it and then you want your sketch lines to blend in while you continue to add layers or graphite. If your sketch outline is too dark and doesn't blend in with the shading your drawing will not look realistic. Because a face or things in nature don't have outlines, they have edges. And when you start the shading you want to build up the layers gradually for a realistic look. So always light pressure. If you want to learn how to draw, my membership is perfect for you. We just finished stage 1 where we learned all about the basics and all of my lessons are in real time with commentary. So one of the exercises you will start with is drawing lines and shapes. You will practice drawing different kinds of shapes and you also want to think about how you hold your pencil. Does this feel natural? Do you need to adjust your grip? When you're drawing smaller shapes, you will move your wrist, but with bigger shapes, you will move your whole arm. Just like you have learned how to hold your pen when learning how to write, you will need to learn and practice sketching too. The more you practice this, the more natural it will feel. When you feel comfortable with drawing different kinds of shapes, you can start looking at things around you or at a reference photo. And instead of looking at the object with a more complex shape like this, you can also break it down into smaller shapes. Doing this will make it easier for you to be accurate when you will draw the shapes yourself. Now when you are drawing the sketch you want to leave your perfectionism behind and just focus on the shapes. Just think about all of the shapes you see, the bigger and smaller shapes and don't think about details yet. It's important to learn to see the basic shapes in anything. Once you learn how to see objects as basic shapes, then you will be able to draw anything you see. So after practicing basic shapes, you want to start thinking about how to create an illusion of a 3D object on a flat paper. If you want to draw something realistic, you will need to understand perspective. Perspective shows you how to see an object in a different way. Perspective can create depth, and this will make your object look 3D. A basic shape like a square is flat, but when you add depth you will have a cube. Or if you start with a flat circle and create depth you will have a sphere. So learning different forms is important because everything in life can be broken down into smaller forms like spheres, cones, cylinders and cubes. If you can draw these basic shapes in every perspective, then you can draw anything. Remember that it will take time to understand how to make a shape look 3D, but after practice you will remember the steps and over time you will be able to recognize these shapes in real life or in a reference photo and how to draw them. So practice with starting with a simple shape and using lines to create the illusion of form. Even without shading we are able to create the illusion of roundness with the lines. You can also look at different objects and imagine rubber bands around them and how it will fall. Look around you and try to see why the object looks 3D and has depth. Now look at an object on your phone, tablet or computer. It's more difficult to see how an object is 3D from a photo than from real life. Because in real life we see everything 3D, but a photo is flat. So practice with this and try to change the way you look at an object. After practicing drawing forms and creating the illusion of roundness with lines, you can start practicing shading and learning about value. 
Value is how light or dark a shade is on a scale of white to black. It's how we understand how something looks around us. Is it flat or is it round? Understanding value is easier to understand if you make a value scale. So value is used to create an illusion of depth in your subject. Using different values like the highlights, midtones and shadows will make your subject look 3D. Now let me show you something. Let's draw two objects. First one with a dark outline because I see some beginners make this mistake so you want to remember this. If your object has outlines it will look flat and not realistic. Now for the second object you just want to draw a light sketch and start shading right away. Don't make any outlines. You see the difference? This one looks flatter and this one looks more realistic. Because of the shading you created edges and not outlines. So to practice this you can draw spheres, cubes and cylinders from different perspectives and shade them. After the shading we will start looking at different shading techniques so we can draw the details and the texture we see. Texture refers to the way something feels, but how can you actually draw that? The key to creating the illusion of texture is through value, by adding different midtones, highlights and shadows to your drawing. Every texture you will create is just a repetition of some kind of line, shape or value. To draw textures you can combine different shading techniques like hatching, cross hatching, circuitism, blending with the blending stump, soft tissue or brush, stippling, using contour lines, indenting, using different kind of erasers or a white acrylic marker. These are different techniques you can use in your drawings when you need to create texture. Learning how to draw is learning how to see objects around you differently. So once you learn this, you will see everything around you in a new light. Look around you at different objects, look at things that are closer to you and further away from you. Look at an object and try to identify its basic shapes. What do you see? Getting better at drawing all comes down to understanding and practicing. Practicing as much as you can. If you want to learn more with me, you can join us in the membership. Let me help you. Let's do this together. You can join by clicking on the link under the video or go to emikalia.com slash learn. But the doors to join are only open this week. After that, you will need to wait for the next time it opens. So don't wait too long and I hope to see you there.